Do you have an upcoming flight with a little one and want to figure out a way to make their economy seat feel like business class? Well, then this is the video for you. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We teach parents how to have incredible vacations with their babies and toddlers, and we are so glad you found us. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing family destination spots along with travel tips. Welcome back to our channel where we talk about all things travel with young kids. Today we are going to be reviewing the top five plane bed slash seat extenders on the market today. Okay, two things before we get started on talking about plane beds for kids. The first thing that I wanna make you aware of is that not all airlines will allow you to use plane beds on their aircraft. So what you need to do before trying to attempt to bring a plane bed onto an aircraft is check their website. Um, if whether you're flying Delta, American, or an international airline, jump online, check out their website to see if they have any specifications on which type of plane beds that they allow on their aircraft, or if they just don't allow them at all on the planes. Another thing that you can do is some of these plane beds that I'm gonna show you today, on their personal product websites, they have a list of airlines that they have personally reached out to and contacted and got their approval for. Um, so you can also go to these product listing websites and check out their list to see if the aircraft that you are flying does in fact allow that specific model to be present on board. I also do wanna to talk to you about a very important safety note. So the FFA generally recommends that kids under 40 pounds should be in an FAA approved restraint during the duration of the flight. This is either a FAA approved car seat or a CARES harness. Now the FFA is for US domestic flights, international flights all have different rules and regulations when it comes to flying with a car seat. So. Um, while we do want our kids to be safe, just note that international flights, um, sometimes they just flat out refuse car seats on board. So be sure to check with that airline before attempting to bring a car seat on board. Now, if you do choose to bring a car seat on board, just keep in mind that the two hour rule still applies. What this two hour recommendation is, is that every two hours that your kids are in their car seat, they should be taken out and given a break. There's not a specific time limit for this break, but generally it's accepted every, like about two hours for 10 to 15 minutes, you should pull your kids out of the car seat. This obviously applies for car rides, but this also applies when you are on a um, flight with a car seat as well. This is such a tough thing for parents to, to decide whether they bring a car seat on board or whether they bring a plane bed on board when they're dealing with a, like a long haul international flight. Um, while I can't make that decision for you, I can let you know just the safety recommendations and show you different options for plane beds so you can make the best decision for your kids and for your family. Okay, without further ado, let's jump into our plane beds. First up, we are gonna be talking about the Jet Kids Bed Box. The Jet Kids Bed Box is a unique carry-on suitcase that not only can kids ride on, but also it transforms into a bed on the plane, enabling your kids to be able to sleep. Let's talk about some of the pros of this plane bed. First, the two front wheels on the suitcase are swivel wheels, which do does help it maneuver much better. It also does have a little space inside the suitcase that you can store some carry-on items. There's not a ton of room, but we have been able to fit an extra blanket, pillow, sound machine, and some toys. The plane bed does create one uniform, comfortable area for your child to lie down. On their website, they have gone out and curated a list of over 50 different airlines that they have officially approved this device on their aircraft. In addition to airplane travel, this will also work for train travel as well. It is a typical carry-on size, so you won't have to pay extra for baggage if the airline allows you one free carry-on. It can be stored in the overhead bin or underneath the seat. Keep in mind that just like all plane beds, this needs to be stored on takeoff and landing. Okay, let's talk about a few of the cons. If your kid doesn't want to ride on the suitcase, it might just be another item that you've got to lug around plus hold your child. It also is one of the most expensive options on the market when it comes to plane beds. And like I mentioned before, it is carry-on size, which is great. However, if you were planning on bringing another suitcase for your toddler, you might have to check that because if they're only allowed one carry-on, this will be their entire carry-on. With all things considered, we still rank this as one of the top five plane beds on the market today for kids. My toddler really loves this and we have thoroughly enjoyed using this on our flights. The second plane bed slash seat extender that we are going to review is the Bubba Board. The Bubba Board was created by two parents that were just looking for a way to make travel easier for their kids and themselves. Essentially what the Bubba Board does, it is a portable seat extender allowing your young kids to sit or even lay down comfortably while traveling. 
An amazing benefit of the Bopa board is that you can quickly slide the inner board back into its original position without having to dismantle or deflate anything. This is really helpful because sometimes when there's turbulence, flight attendants will request that you put away your plane beds and seat extenders. Not only will the Bopa board work on flights, but it can also be used on trains, long bus rides, etc. Another thing that I've done is I've actually used this as a mat in the airport, allowing my toddler a clean space to sit when their chairs weren't available. There are multiple colors to choose from. Currently, they offer the colors purple, pink, orange, and blue. Installation is very easy and it can be done in less than 30 seconds. I love that it gave my kid a little extra space to play with their toys and books and it helped them not end up on the floor. It may also help restless legs that are prone to kick the seat in front of them be a little bit more at ease during the flight. Lastly, I love that it comes with this strap. I easily put it on my stroller or I could also put it on my shoulder depending on my preference. Some of the cons of this device is that it does not fold down into like a small box-like size. However, it does completely lay flat, making it easy to pack at the bottom of or top of a suitcase. Another one of my cons is that they don't have a list of airlines that have approved this on their website, so it is hard knowing which ones will accept it or not unless you do call them. All things considered, this definitely still makes the list of our top five plane beds for kids. Okay, next on the list, we are going to be reviewing the Plane Pal. The Plane Pal is a uniquely designed inflatable cushion that you will place in the space between your seat and the seat in front of you. Unlike other inflatable footrests, this one has a unique design because the top section is a little bit longer than the bottom section. This is great because it allows for airflow at the base. Additionally, when you're on a budget airline, you'll just flip it upside down so the larger section is on the bottom, allowing for that smaller legroom space. The Plane Pal can come with a pump that's easy to use. It took me about two minutes to inflate it on my first try. Deflating is quick and easy and only took me about 30 seconds to get it deflated and folded. In addition to be used on planes, Plane Pal can also be used on trains and buses. It has a customized safety valve that ensures it can never be overinflated or burst, which is pretty reassuring if you're trying to get it just right on the flight. They also have a list of airlines on their website that have approved this device. One of my cons is that you won't be able to access the bag underneath the seat in front of you. Also, the pump is a little larger than the other plane bed pumps. All in all, the Plane Pal definitely makes our list for the top five airplane plane beds for kids. Okay, next up on our list is the Flyaway Kids bed that we are going to review. The Flyaway Kids Plane Bed is an award-winning device designed and engineered in Switzerland. It can help your little ones relax and sleep better on the flight. This plane bed can inflate in 90 seconds. Yes, I have tested it and it does actually inflate that quickly and it doesn't take very long to deflate. I really appreciate the fact that the surface can be easily wiped clean. I also really love that this plane bed has small bumpers along the side, helping them stay on the bed along with their toys. The flyaway bed does come with a carry bag, also a pump. Unfortunately, in this video, I could not find my pump to save my life, so I'm using a different pump. Also, this brand has gone out and curated a list of airlines that have approved their device on their aircraft. I think the standout feature for me is how comfortable this plane bed is for kids. Some of the cons include that it will take up a decent amount of space in your carry-on bag. It also does elevate them in the seat, allowing them to use a tray table more easily. However, if your child is older or bigger, the tray table may rest on their legs if they try and fold it down. All in all, this definitely makes our top five list of plane beds. And finally on our list, we are going to be reviewing the air cot. The air cot seat extender acts like a hammock attaching to the seat belt and to the tray table, allowing your kids a little extra comfort so their feet aren't dangling the entire flight. The standout feature for me is how small this truly is. It's so easy to slide in a diaper bag. I love that it's made from a waterproof canvas, so it's very easy to clean. It also helps restless legs that are prone to kicking the seat in front of them. It comes with an instruction card, but it truly is very easy to set up on the plane. Some of the cons of the AirCot are that it does not have a list of airlines that have approved this device on their website, so it's hard knowing which ones will accept it or not. Also, they do have a disclaimer on their website saying that the AirCot is intended for use as a seat extender footrest only, so not to support the full weight of any child. You always have to be supervising your kid when they're using this product. Like all plane beds, you should be supervising your kids. We've really enjoyed bringing the AirCot with us on our flights and definitely makes the list of the top five airplane beds for kids. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to hit subscribe before you leave. I hope this video helps you determine which plane bed is going to be best for your little one on your next upcoming flight.